The Blanchard River Demonstration Farms Network is a joint partnership between the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Natural Resources Conservation Service, and the Ohio Farm Bureau Federation. The project is designed to showcase and demonstrate leading-edge conservation practices. Strip tillage and subsurface placement are tools that can help improve water quality while reducing fertilizer usage and increasing yields. Shane Kellogg, a cooperating farmer in the network, sees the benefits of this practice. We're applying a little probably about 40% less dry fertilizer in the strip than we would if we broadcast. Cause it's, you know, you're, there's mathematical equations, but you're, you know, 30 times more efficient cause it's right where you're planning. And so that 40% savings in dry, you know, fertilizer is your top input cost on the farm. So, um, that helps out a lot and then even with those 40 percent reduction in fertilizer we're actually still seeing a yield bump the kellogg's have been experimenting with strip tillage for a few years this is actually our second unit uh, we had a spring tillage unit before it was all colder tillage um, we liked it it just complicated a lot of things in the spring just a lot going on in the spring trying to rush and get crops in the ground and you know deal with hundreds of tons of dry fertilizer too and just the logistics of it so um, we moved to the fall rig which is sitting here behind me the knife is typically eight to ten inches usually really in between nine and ten is usually how deep we drag the knife um, the fertilizer um, we're not dropping completely that deep they have uh, Orthman has injector tubes, but even, and they say it doesn't fall to the bottom of the trench, but our soils aren't like most. They're, you know, they're pretty clay and stiff, especially down at 10 inches. And, you know, when you open it, you know, it's hard to tell what it's doing down there, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay open. And you're gonna get some that trickles to the bottom of the trench. So we're injecting um, actually probably four inches above ground level, and it shoots it right in the back of the slit where the knife's running. And if you dig, you can find fertilizer from a half inch to six inches. The practice works well in cover crops too. Last year, it just, it done a phenomenal job in covers that were planted in August. And, but we had a lot of preventative plant ground last year, so we didn't get everything planted. Um, and we went in and seeded mainly oats and uh, turnips and radishes, some winter peas. It just, it done an awesome job through them. I mean, it, I was making strips in October that you just wanted to get the planter out and plant into because they look so beautiful. There's a lot of options out there, um, you know, just like the strip freshener we built, you know. Um, we have some neighbors here a couple roads over. They have a, a, a planter that, they have the planter unit still on it and they're just dropping dry fertilizer right down through the planter unit, um, you know. And you can find old old planters for pretty cheap and you know strip boxes off of it and you still got to have a fertilizer delivery system but there's definitely cheap ways to do it for more information on the blanchard river demonstration farms network visit blancharddemofarms.org